if you are analyzing the commercial history of Africa, you will find out that Timbuktu tend to be in the forefront. Other towns can be said to be following in the area of uh, trade dominance and trade importance. Little is known about some other areas. One of such important trade town was Jene. Jene, just like Timbuktu, was one of the entrepreneurs ports of Western Sudan trade in Africa during the booming period of the Trans-Saharan trade. Both cities can be found in the present-day Mali, and they were powerful cities during the Mali Empire period. Apart from the position of Jene in the Trans-Saharan trade activities, so merchants that operated through Jene made use of the river Niger as a commercial waterway. There were as well intercity commercial activities that were carried out by some merchants between Timbuktu and Jene. One of the major means of transit in these intercity commercial activities was the river Niger. Valentin Fernandez, in his document, documentation, described how salt we are transported from Jene to Timbuktu and all the way to the Akan region. Akan region can be found in the present day Republic of Ghana and as well some parts of Ivory Coast. Salt and gold were the major articles of trade at that period. Another writer, Raymond Mauni, rightly suggested that there was no reason why salt for the gold fields of Bure on the upper Niger should be uploaded at Jene as it could be carried by boat up the main course of the region of the Niger as far as the river was navigable. It is highly likely therefore that the salt brought to Jene was destined for the new sources of gold in the Akan forest which can be found in the modern day Ghana and Ivory Coast. Raymond Maoni tend to explain the operational link between Jene and the Akan region or areas. In this Akan region, there were some gold fields or gold mines that existed there and gold and salt were the major articles of trade at that period. And this is a trade we are done based on butter system. Jene can be said located at the southeastern end of the inner delta of the Niger, proved to be an ideal entrepot for trade with gold fields in the Akan Forest region. Leo Africanus as well described this trade relationship between Timbuktu and Jene. Another writer, an Arab writer, Al Sadi, who knew both Timbuktu and Jene, described the basis of the trade system in this manner. He stated that Jene is one of the greatest Muslim markets. We are traders with salt from the mine of Tahaza, meat traders with gold from Bitu, or probably some persons may call the area Bio, which was the old trading center which proceeded Bonduku ahead of the states. It was therefore, as I went ahead, it was therefore this blessed town 
is making reference to journey that caravans came to Timbuktu from all points of the horizon. This write off of Al Sadi -Sad tend to explain the, the trade relationship between Timbuktu and Jenny. From this analysis and other writers, it can be said that Timbuktu and Jenny must have developed as trading towns about the same time. But more importantly, Timbuktu tend to be a bit more influential compared to Jenny. And this can be said to be based on the existence or the position of Timbuktu as a major academic town. Timbuktu can be said a bit more can be said to be a bit more popular because of the fact that the town later tra transformed to a great academic Asian town or to a great Asian town of learning, mainly because of the existence of learning institutions who can be said to be the old, one of the oldest universities as at that period. Now, Newton can be said about some other towns in this region, but the study and analysis of the trans-Saharan trade cannot be said to be complete without proper analysis of Jenne and Timbuktu. Please, if you're watching our production for the very first time, please subscribe to our channel and click on the notification icon so that anytime we produce a new content, you will be one of the earliest persons to be notified. Thanks for being part of this channel.